by demonstrating through distinguished performance high potential for future academic accomplishment. Will Ian Katz please stand? Thank you. The senior with the highest SAT score is named the star student. Would this year's star student, Catherine Morris, and this year's star teacher, Danielle Costarides, please stand. Thank you. The Scholar Athlete Medallion is awarded to senior athletes who play a varsity sport two or more years and maintained at least a three-point grade point average. Would all Scholar Athletes please stand? Thank you. To support this great country, more Americans are joining the armed forces than ever. Will the seniors who have made the decision to support America in this way please stand? Thank you. And thank you for agreeing to serve and protect this great country. In addition, North Atlanta recognizes students to exercise, I'm sorry, North Atlanta encourages students to exercise their right to vote and to have a voice in our democratic society. Will all registered voters please stand? Excellent job. Thank you. We take pride in the fact that the majority of our students will attend post-secondary institutions. Will all students who plan to attend college please stand? Keep standing. Your parents are going to appreciate this footnote. As of today, and I mean today, these students have been awarded approximately $10 million in grants and scholarships. Thank you. Assistant Principal Curtis Douglas will announce the recipients of the next awards. Good evening. Will Superintendent Davis, Mrs. Meister, and our academy leaders please assist Dr. Taylor in presenting the following special awards to our students. The student athlete who illustrates the utmost promise academically as well athletically receives the Warrior Scholar Award. This student athlete has lettered in multiple varsity sports, maintained one of the highest grade point averages amongst all Warrior student athletes, has served as a team captain, and his or her leadership has contributed to the ongoing promotion of North Atlanta athletics. This year's Warrior Award recipient is Amber Weber. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution presents the Journal Cup to the senior who excels in academics, community activities, and stands out as a leader. The faculty and staff selected Samuel Boatwright as the 2013 recipient. The Principal's Cup is awarded to a student who best exemplifies the true meaning of North Atlanta High School and is chosen by Dr. Taylor. Will Brianna Franklin please come forward to receive your cup?
This year, we have three small learning community cups. Each SLC chose a senior who best exemplifies what their small learning community represents. Will the following seniors please come forward to receive your award? Center for International Studies, Catherine Morris. Center for International Business and Entrepreneurship, Tamia Woods. Center for the Arts, Samuel Boatwright. Thank you, Superintendent Davis, Mrs. Meister, and Dr. Taylor. You may now be seated. The class of 2013 salutatorian is Eva May, and the, and the valedictorian is Ian Katz. This year, these two students have been given the honor to speak to you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your full attention to the valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 2013. Good evening, everyone. I'm Eva May, salutatorian. The last time I was on stage speaking to a large crowd was seven years ago. And as those of you who attended Morris Brandon Elementary may remember, that ended with me, red-faced and overwhelmed, fleeing the stage mid-sentence. So let's hope that doesn't happen tonight. But enough about me. Welcome, class of 2013, along with family, friends, and faculty. Thank you all for coming. We are all gathered here tonight to celebrate the amazing accomplishments of North Atlanta's senior class over the past four years of their high school careers. We have an immensely talented student body here tonight, and that is why we are not only celebrating their past, but their bright futures as well. North Atlanta's class of 2013 will go on to do great things. I am sure of it. I could stand up here and recite to you cliched phrases about the star of the rest of our lives and whatever else it is that salutatorians and valedictorians usually talk about. However, in writing this speech, I didn't want it to be completely cliched. When I was given the theme of tonight's ceremony, explore, dream, discover, I thought, well, that's not going to help me write a speech. That's the kind of overused stuff you always hear in graduation speeches. But then I looked at the context of the quote. It comes from a larger quote from Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Now, I know none of us are sailors and we probably don't use boats very often, but I started thinking that we can relate to this. Because honestly, I don't think a single one of us has a perfectly clear picture of what we're doing with our lives or where exactly we're headed. But I think that's how it should be. We all still have so much ahead of us that's unknown. And look how far we've already gotten without having our lives completely mapped out for us. We're making our own maps, drawing our own lines. High school has been, in one way or another, a sort of hand-holding experience for all of us. 
but now it's time to let go and go on alone. And yes, unfortunately, it does sound a bit cliched, but we really are like explorers. We're sort of head into the unknown, and I can't speak for everyone, but I'm tremendously excited to see what's out there. Our time at North Atlanta has been wonderful, but I'm sure we can all agree it's time to get out of here and find out what's next. So to my fellow classmates, I say, take Mark Twain's words to heart. Be adventurous, take risks. No, I'm not talking about YOLO, our generation's distorted version of Carpe Diem. I'm simply advocating for what, doing what makes us and those we care about happy, for making memories that we can all look back on and say, I made the most of life. Over the past 12 years, we have all gained valuable experiences from our teachers, families, and peers. Experiences that have matured us and helped us gain a deeper understanding of the world around us. And now we take those experiences with us as we come to the end of this stage of our lives. We've achieved the goal of gaining a high school diploma, well, almost, an accomplishment that lies at the end of a well-worn path. Now there are no more paths. We are independent adults, and now is the time for us to begin to truly make our own decisions. So congratulations, class of 2013. We should all be immensely proud of and thankful for all our accomplishments so far. And now I present to you our valedictorian, Ian Katz. Good evening, fellow graduates, parents, teachers, and administrators. It is my honor to be giving the valedictorian speech to the North Atlanta class of 2013. This is a big moment in all of our lives, and my dad has always had the perfect thing to say for moments like this. After any big event, whether it's the last day of school or the last day of summer camp, my dad would say to me, Ian, are you having a good childhood? <laughs> And at the time, I would say, yes, Dad, I'm having a good childhood. But I would only be talking about that one little moment in my life, whatever it may have been. I knew that I still had some childhood left to go. Now here I am with my fellow seniors after some tumultuous years at North Atlanta, graduating from high school, soon to be off to one of the greatest universities in the country. And I can finally say, yes, I've had a good childhood. Life is continuous, but graduation certainly marks an important transition. After four years of high school, four years of homework, four years of testing, four years of classes, we've made it to this point. We are the graduating seniors. We are finally at the top. And starting tomorrow, we are back at the bottom. Square one, no upperclassmen privileges, no experience, no nothing. <laughs> Many of us are going straight to college, where we are once again the freshmen. Others are joining the workforce with very little experience, if any at all. We are starting with a clean slate. Our experiences from high school still matter, of course, but graduation marks a moment where, despite whatever we may have done before, the future is really what we are able to make it. That can be both an exciting and a scary thought. Up until now, the goal has been set for us, and that goal was to graduate. Now that we are here, we are to set our own goals. Our parents and teachers have guided us before, but now we must guide ourselves. This is the spirit that Mark Twain's quote, Explore, Dream, Discover, captures. The path of life is never paved in stone, so it is up to us to do as much as we can with the time that we have. It is daunting to be told to forge your own path. There's so much that can be done. How does one even begin to experience all that life has to offer? The truth is, we won't. There will be missed opportunities, shortages of time, choices that must be made one way or the other. And that's okay. What's important is not that we experience everything, but that we use all of our time. Explore, dream, discover does not allow room for wasted time. It does not matter all that much exactly what you are doing, as long as you are sure that your time is well spent. Time well spent means doing what you love and doing what makes you happy. A person who lives with very little can be happier than a person who lives with abundance, 
as long as he is happy with what he has. So, our future class may be filled with scientists, lawyers, artists, and politicians. But it would be better if our future class will be filled with open-minded, thoughtful, and most of all, happy people. I hope that, whatever happened to you in high school, that you are pleased with the experience and with the result. Even if everything did not go as planned, we have a lot to be happy about. When you reflect upon your high school experience and life in general, it is easy to pick out all of the flaws, all of the downfalls, all of the disappointments. But I urge you all instead to focus on why your life is great. Focus on all of your achievements. Focus on your proud moments. Think about what has made your life meaningful and embrace those things. If you can look back on high school, wrinkles and all, with a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction, then you too have had a good childhood, and the future can only be bright. Thank you to all of the parents, teachers, administrators, and students who got us all here today. Some dreams live on in time forever. And those dreams you want with all your heart. And I'll do whatever it takes. Follow through with the promise I made. Put it all on the line. What I hope for at last would be mine. If I could reach, reach higher. For one moment, touch the sky. For that one moment in my life. I'm gonna be. That I try my very best. I put my spirit to the test. If I could reach some days, I'm meant to be remembered. The more that this dream will be mine If I could reach, reach higher For a moment touch the sky For now a moment in my life I'm gonna be, be stronger Very 
Mrs. Meister, board members, Mr. Douglas, Ms. Kahn, Ms. Mitchell, Ms. Stewart, and Mr. Whitman, please stand or step forward to assist with the presentation of diplomas. Members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Meister, and Superintendent Davis, I hereby certify that these candidates for graduation have completed all of the requirements of the State of Georgia and the Atlanta Board of Education and are now eligible to receive their diplomas. Ms. Dewan Freeman will announce our candidates. Audience, I ask again that you refrain from behavior that would distract from honoring all of our candidates with dignity and respect. Therefore, please hold all applause, catcalls, until all diplomas have been presented. Again, when you catcall for the student, the next student's name is not heard, and that is simply unfair. Furthermore, please remain seated and watch the video for a better view of our candidates. Samuel Jackson Boatwright. William Andrew Gilmore, Corey Andrew Cooper, Yancy Santana Torres, Estefanos Fantu Arga, Eva Heidel May, Ian Matthew Katz, Giovanni Chavez, Animal Islam, Masood Parvez, Santos Arzate, Caesar. Cortez Granados, Ambria Marie Stiles, Brianna Nicole Wilson, Jalisa Christina Goodwin, George Reginald Meekins, Bryant Dion Durden, Elvis Alexis Gomez, Hugo Palma Cornejo, Carter Monroe Shields, Colin Reed Thomas, Fernando Dwayne Carr, Carlton Ellsworth Henry, Emmett Felipe Hernandez, Birch Wisdom Nance, Jose Alberto Reyes Ibarra, Jared Les Alvarez, Mariama Sarah Edwina Tatum, Aaron Simone Williams, Imani Maisha Jones, Miranda Alice Matani, Jeremy Wayne Renz, Alexander William Campbell, Cameron Ole Davis, Eli Hayes Yokley Zarka, Lavon Arquise Maps Whitmore, Edgar Ernesto Pacheco, Monica Lynn Watley, Uriria Diaz, Brianna Bernice Franklin, Diana Duarte, Brianna Janice Green, Christian Kyle Thomason, Edgar Abdelash Valencia, Takim. 